In this demonstration, we're going to show how, with some events in the Global Optimization Toolbox, you can optimize manufacturing production processes by using a genetic algorithm. We are also going to use the Parallel Computing Toolbox to speed up the optimization process. Here's our situation. We have a model of a chemical batch production process with shared resources that processes two types of orders. Let me run the simulation so you can see the problem we are having. With our current process, we are not able to keep up with the orders coming in, and so we have a large backlog of orders. We would like to optimize the production process so that we process as many orders as possible. To do that, we are going to need to invest money in equipment purchases, and right now we do not know what combination of equipment purchases will get us to our goal with the least expense. So the solution we are presenting is to use the genetic algorithm and our sim events model to find an optimal combination of equipment we need to purchase, keeping in mind their costs. This production process uses four resources, batch reactors, water tanks, heaters, and drains. The number of batch reactors is set on the resource pool block named batch reactors. The water tanks, heaters, and drains are set in the chemical process subsystem. Right now we have only one of each resource, which is clearly too few to support an efficient production process. We will want to increase these to reduce our order backlog while minimizing the cost of our investment. The other important part of this model you should notice is the output backlog. We are going to be using this output of the model during optimization to minimize the backlog of orders while taking into account the cost of adding resources to the process. Let's now move to the optimization script. To optimize the number of resources we will use in this manufacturing process, we will be using MATLAB and the genetic algorithm from the Global Optimization Toolbox, which supports mixed integer optimization. This is important in our case because the number of resources is an integer rather than a continuous variable. This is the code for the optimization. This line sets up the options for the optimization. These next two lines set a lower and upper bound for the optimization variables. What this means is that we have to have at least one batch reactor, water tank, heater, and drain to process an order, the lower bound. And we have to have at most 20 batch reactors and five water tanks, heaters, and drains. This could be due to various constraints such as space or personnel. The next line is where we tell the optimization function which lines we are optimizing are integers. In our case, all the values we are optimizing are integers, so all four values are specified as being integers. This GA is where the genetic algorithm is being called. The first argument being passed to the genetic algorithm is the objective function. Here is the objective function. This is the function that the genetic algorithm is minimizing. The first section is setting the value of the optimization function to a variable for the number of batch reactors, water tanks, heaters, and drains. We then use these variables to set those values in the sim events model. This section is simulating the model and capturing the output into a variable called backlog values, and then setting the final value to the variable backlog. This next section set up our cost function. This is what the optimization algorithm is minimizing. This line of the function is assigning costs to the various resources that we are adding. In this script, the batch reactors have a cost of 100 and the water tanks, heaters, and drains have a cost of 200. We need to assign costs to the various resources so that we can optimize based on the additional cost of adding these resources, the points in the optimization that we are controlling compared to the cost of not completing the order. The cost function then sets the objective for minimization by setting the cost of not completing an order high, giving it a cost of 10,000, and adding in the cost of adding various resources. Before we run the code, we will want to set up MATLAB for optimization. I'm going to start a MATLAB pool on my local machine with two workers that will work on this problem in parallel. I'm now going to run the optimization function. 
This is the beauty of sim events. It is very tightly integrated with MATLAB. You can manipulate the input, analyze statistics, create visualizations of the data, or optimize the data easily in MATLAB by controlling and sending information from the model. The genetic algorithm we are using comes from the Global Optimization Toolbox, and it solves optimization problems by repeatedly modifying a population of individual points. In our case, those points are the number of resources used. The simulation will be repeated over and over with different numbers of batch reactors, water tanks, heaters, and drains until the algorithm converges on an optimal solution. Because we are using the parallel computing toolbox, this is being run on two different workers in the background at the same time, which is speeding up the process. We use two plots from the genetic algorithm. The top shows you a plot of the penalty values, as well as shows you the best penalty value it has found and the mean value. The second plot shows you the current best values for the different resources. In our case, the first value is the optimal number of the batch reactors, the second is the number of water tanks, the third is the number of heaters, and the fourth number is the optimal number of drains to use. Now we can see that the optimization script has stopped running. We will go back to MATLAB to find the optimal values for the resources needed. So the optimization script has stopped running and shows us that the optimal values it has found are 13 batch reactors, 2 water tanks, 4 heaters, and 2 drains. This simple example of how to do optimization with a manufacturing process model shows you how to integrate your SimEvents model with optimization scripts so that you can use optimization to keep your operations running effectively and efficiently.